the Alexander Stefan. Works on Albert Einstein. Paintings, writings, and movies. Albert Einstein. Friday, 11.30 a.m., March 14, 1879, Ulm, Germany. Monday, 1.15 a.m., April 18, 1955, Princeton, New Jersey, USA. Stefan's Paintings of Einstein Einstein's Legacy Einstein, the Sage Einstein, Man of the Millennium The Writings of the Alexander Stefan on Albert Einstein Einstein's Revolutionary Wisdom Seven Last Days in the Life of Albert Einstein 2002 Regarding Inter alia Albert Einstein and Mileva Marich Einstein 2005 Legend has it Koch, the village in Serbia, Yugoslavia, is the birthplace of Einstein's equation, E equals mc squared. Albert and Mileva pay visit to Serbia in September 1905. Upon their return to Switzerland, Albert submits the paper for publishing which contains the most celebrated equation in the history of physics. The paper is published on November 21, 1905, in the German Annals of Physics. Albert Einstein and Mili Vimarich Einstein in Serbia, Yugoslavia, in September 1905. Albert and Mili Einstein World Year of Physics 2005 and more. 2005. Thus spoke Einstein on life and living. 2011. The Einstein Stefan encounters. Time hopping travel. Transcending the Barriers of Time 2016 Einstein and the World Timeline Institute for Advanced Physics Studies Stefan University La Jolla, California, USA 2016 Digital Edition Albert Einstein, the son-in-law of the Serbs, the Yugoslavs, 2017. The Alexander Stefan, director, the movies about Albert Einstein. Big Bang Genesis and Einstein's Biggest Blunder, 2008 John Archibald Wheeler of the Princeton University, Princeton, New Jersey, the guest of the Institute for Advanced Physics Studies, Stefan University, giving a talk in La Valencia Hotel, La Jolla, California, 1991. You're the Genius, 2009.
the big oops of the great physicists Newton, Einstein, and Bohr, and fictional Dr. Falstaff. I will address, says Stefan, the biggest research blunders of the great physicists Newton, Einstein, and Bohr. And, I will allow my fictional Dr. Falstaff to express his own opinion in the matter. Newton tells us that there is ether as the underlying medium that supports the propagation of light, similar to the waters of the ocean that support the propagation of the ocean waves. Oops, currently, we know that there is no ether. For Newton, space and time form the stage of the existence. If everything would disappear, and in particular the human race, says Newton, the stage would still be there. Time, the time world, can never vanish. Newton had died without ever knowing about his blunder. Now, he knows it, but he cannot let us know that. Einstein tells us that if everything would disappear, the stage would disappear, too. Time, the time world, would vanish. Einstein also tells us that our universe goes from the everlasting to the everlasting, and he adduces the cosmological constant. Oops, currently, we know that our universe has the beginning. The experiments show that our universe is expanding. Einstein reacts swiftly and refers to his cosmological constant as the biggest blunder of his life. Niels Bohr tells us that we are unable to define the state of a living being in terms of atomic measures. The living matter and the non-living matter are two complementary faces of but one thing, matter. They are irreducible to each other due to the quantum complementarity as studied in quantum physics. Electron, one thing, has a wave, like nature, one face, not reducible to its corpuscular nature, its other face. Oops, currently, the physics principles of the non-living matter are successfully employed in the study of the living matter. Bohr recognizes his blunder, retracts it, and goes with the flow of the development of biophysics. Fictional, Dr. Falstaff, speaks here, the words of wisdom. A human being is placed on the stage of existence. A human being cries out, I'm not an actor, I don't know what to do. A hollow voice echoes, do whatever you can, as wisely as you can. Time, the time world, is there so that the human race can evolve in it. In other words, our universe exists solely for the purpose of accommodating the human race. As long as the human race of the Atlantis universe. Our universe and her 21 sibling universes dances the cosmic dance, the time world, the Atlantis universe and her 21 sibling universes will never vanish. Long live the human race. Albert Einstein in Stefan's fiction fantasy novel entitled, The Falstaff Trilogy. Einstein, as a mortal, Hermes Trismegistus. Trismes. Trism, Einstein continues, has both immortal and mortal incarnations throughout the spherical time matrix. Once in a while I like to die, Trism says. In my day as a physicist, Trism, Immortal Code 11, and I, Mortal Code 5, could have not appeared next to each other in flesh and blood, due to the Code 13 time knot barrier. One person cannot be mortal and immortal simultaneously at the same place. Only the 11 humans Code 13, the guardians of our universe, can do that.